All right, so I don't know if y'all have seen much of this project yet, but we pretty much built this specifically to pick up other projects. Um, it's an 04 uh, four wheel drive, five speed, six liter, three quarter ton Chevy. Um, we kind of, we did the whole lift on it, recently had it re repainted, uh, put the bumper on, basically built the flatbed. We kind of chopped up a different flatbed and modified this one for our needs and just wanted a truck that would kind of go anywhere, do anything for pulling different projects out, whether that be out of a field or hard to get spots. So if you're coming back here. Um, probably like the thing that makes this truck the coolest is we put a winch in the back of it. That way, uh, kind of regardless of whatever trailer we hook up to, we've always got a winch that works. You don't have to worry about batteries being charged because it runs off the truck. Uh, controller stays in the box. You just pop this up back here and snap your uh, winch controller in. Like I said, every truck or every trailer then has a winch built into it, so that's nice. Um, this is our trailer that we just picked up. Finally got tired of uh, trying to use tongue pulls and trailers being too short, so just got this. We're about to do our uh, first mod on it, which is going to be putting a uh, little winch roller here so that we're not dinging up our toolbox and whatnot so that we can run through the winch in the back of the truck and pull things onto it. Um, this is a little over 20 feet and it's got rollover fenders. It's 104 inches wide. It's got the big heavy duty ramps and a dovetail on it. So this is like way nicer than any of the other stuff that we were trying to use in the past. And I'm excited about things being easier to move around. So we're gonna pull this thing in the shop right now and get to doing a little modifying on it because we gotta go pick up a Toyota tomorrow. We are eventually going to put a winch on this trailer of its own. So this is kind of a temporary thing just to get us through tomorrow. I'm trying to figure out the way to do this with the least amount of cutting or drilling or welding. And so it's either gonna go this way, maybe like that. I think the way to put the least tension on it, because it's gotta come at a bit of an upward angle, is definitely through the bottom. Let's see if it's gonna interact with this door. Yeah, so it looks like it's definitely gonna have to go off the front this way. And I think for now, just putting the three bolts in it here would be plenty to hang that the right way. And it's going to put a little bit of flex on it that direction, which is kind of trying to avoid. But I don't really know any way around it at this point without making something more permanent. So, I guess the first thing is going to be uh, cutting off the back of our winch plate here. So there's some type of way. I could just weld this on, but I don't really want to do that. I think bolting it's going to be pretty good. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off with a torch, but I'm just going to clamp a straight edge to it. This does not have to be perfect, so we're just going to kind of eyeball this. Porches outside right now because we're actually putting a carport on the shop. So we'll take this outside, cut it up. Go grab our striker. Just running this right along straight edge that I clamped on here. This will give us about as nice and clean of a cut as you can get with a torch. That's not too hot. And that is pretty dang good. Just for shits and giggles, and really because we're on camera right now, I'm gonna go grind this off. Bad for being cut with a torch. Washers. I'm gonna find 
find some good 3 8 bolts for this. We're going to refer to the handy dandy scrap pile for that. on the top here. That's what we're gonna do. We're trying to put the least amount of rotational force on this I-beam to twist it, but I bet we could drill some extra holes out here and just mount it straight to the top of this thing. Mark these holes. Add a little cut and lube on there. That's gonna work out great. Stepping up a couple bit sizes in between each one of these here. Save yourself a lot of hassle if you're trying to drill it out all at once. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little demo of what it's like loading up with this truck. Um, and hopefully we don't bend our new little rod here because this is the first time I've used it with this trailer. But we're gonna go ahead and plug our winch controller in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna free spool it out to this Land Cruiser. Lock our winch back down. Oh yeah, this is working like a champ. We'll see when we get a little tension on it coming up the ramps, how this C channel is gonna hold. But I have a feeling it's gonna be just fine. Works pretty good. We're gonna end up upgrading this winch. I think we're a little light in the back here. We got a 9,000 pound on it now. I think I wanna step up to a 10, but um, 10 or 12, probably just go all the way and get a 12. But anyway, that's how the trailer works. This is the new tow setup. We're gonna get this thing strapped down and ready to go. She wrote.